big fuzzy yak. Okay, let's see if this all works. Okay, my stream looks like it's working. Okay. Hello? Hello. Okay, I can hear you. Good. <laughs> All right, oh you got everything? U T Q three. U T Q three. Oh. I just want to make sure the stream's working okay. Yeah, the stream seems to be working okay. Alright. Nice. Okay. So, I put the things at the in the in our chat. For what it says. Um, score attack best of 5. It's first to 3 out of 5. Start at the level that the selector is allowed to start in ranked matches. If both players agree, the maximum starting level is 20. Higher seed choose the starting level first, then alternate with lower seed. Default room settings. You're the higher seed, I think, right? Yes. Yeah. And I'm. I think because I made the room, it'll let me choose the speed first. Okay. I hope. <laughs> Hi. And I do have it set that. to first to three, best of five. So. Oh, okay. I didn't even know you could do that. So awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so scared. Um, ah. Okay, what speed do you want then? Um, I usually start on seven, if that works seven? for you. Okay. Sheesh. Tell me when you're ready for me to click. I'm ready. You ready? Okay. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Uh, what am I doing? I don't even know what way to play. I'm just freaking out. <laughs> I have this truly bizarre way that I like to play modern score attack that truly is not competitively viable. <laughs> but it's a lot more fun for me, so I do it anyways. I would say you don't even have to be competitive to play it against me because I'm not even that good. You already yeah. got 8,000 points on me, so. <laughs> Here. I was really starting to sweat in the match that I played yesterday. It was a triathlon match that included a score attack match. And my opponent in the second round actually started doing um, ST stacking. That I can't do. That's impressive. 
I have tried so hard for so long to get ST stacking into my brain, and I cannot do it. It's, yeah, it's, it's hard. <laughs> I can't do it either. I literally have a board. I, I found on Amazon at some point. Oh no. I think I've just messed up my board. I'm gonna try to save it. I thought I almost lost everything for a bit. I, I found on Amazon at some point what's basically a light bright okay. <laughs> board. Yeah. But instead of individual pegs, it's colored Tetris pieces. No way. Um it's very cool. Ooh, I think that might be it. Oh, am I? Oh my god, am I salvaging this? Did you get oh. it all clear? <laughs> um, but I literally have this little light bright board thing set up with showing me two different openers to start ST stacking. And I still can't actually figure it out. <laughs> I just finally learned how to do a DT cannon yesterday. Nice. But, but I can only do it when I'm looking at a photo, and I can't do it in a competitive mm -hmm. match because everybody's too fast for me. So by the time yeah. I actually get it, I'm just all the way up the board. Mm -hmm. But I like your whole light bright idea, because when I finally learned my first um, T-spin triple, I actually painted it. You painted it? I painted it. Yeah, I'm not really a good painter, but I painted That's it. Awesome. I wanted to like, to, like, m like remember it, and now I like look at it all the time when I want to try to do to pull it off, and then now now I can do it because I just look at the painting. But I think the light bright thing is gonna help you. That's so cute. I love that. <laughs> And there goes my five bag. I stopped paying attention for two seconds and five bag is over now. You already got 108,000 points on me. I have to stack like a normal person now. Oh shoot, I thought I had a different piece there. DT cannons are actually another thing that I've never learned how to do. I've had what I would consider a pretty healthy versus Tetris career without ever learning how to do a DT cannon. And people would tell me all the time, like, oh, DT cannon is like such an easy opener and like everybody at your skill level does it. And I'm, I'm like, Okay, then why why have I never been able to do it right then? Yeah. When I actually stumbled across a random Tetris streamer that I became obsessed with for a while, um, who taught me how to do the opener that I do now, which is Hachi Spin. I don't even know how you're getting all your points. Mostly, I just play really fast. Um, the vast majority of my points in any given score attack mode happen after, honestly, right now where I am, level 16. Hey, you got 200,000 points on me. Sheesh. You're really good. I'm always too deep in it to see, to be able to read point deficits in modern. I gotta be fast. I gotta be on it. Yeah, you're definitely fast. <laughs> 
And I can't get out, out of there. There we go. I did one teaspoon. That's enough. <laughs> oh, come on. It makes me very happy that there is actually a competitive score attack, modern score attack mode in this game at all. Because before I ever learned um, competitive Tetris in any capacity, really, mm -hmm. I started off playing Tetris the Grandmaster, okay, which is <laughs> a series of Japanese-only arcade games that are just single-player score attack games that are mostly known for just getting stupid fast just unreasonably uh, i am now officially at the speed where i have to you have half a million have points complete more than me. control like i don't uh, even think you uh, need to not for me at least because i don't even know how to catch up to that one for... My brain is logically just fried on it. No, oh, no. 25. What am I doing? And 26. 26 is usually where I top out because at 26 speed, if I make one wrong move, then everything is over. I'm shocked that you uh, can even crack play at that speed. Yeah, it's done. I'm just playing at my speed. Yeah, how am I going to get 6 million oh. points? 600,000 points in that time speed. I <sighs> don't even know how. Oh, I want to rotate over. I don't have any water left in my water bottle. Oh no. I feel like I'm not getting any points. <laughs> Up above level 20, it's really hard to stack for serious points. Do you just go for like all Tetrises or? After I break my five bag opener, what does that mean? I just stack for Tetrises. Um, five bag is my really weird way of stacking that oh, I like to do, even though it's not 
viable. It's it's this like theoretically infinitely playable algorithm that will get you a perfect clear every five bags. I don't even know how to cheap the pieces to get an all clear. Um, what speed are we going this time? I don't know. <laughs> um, five. <laughs> five. Yeah. All right. Uh, zero. I don't even think you played your games. You entered the competition. I think you forfeited because you didn't even schedule your games, so you have no room to talk. Oh no, do we have viewers? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I forgot that there was a stream. Do we have viewers? Oh no. Y'all gonna be very disappointed in me. No. And there goes five back. I've immediately screwed it up. Yeah, but as I know, you're really good at recovery, so... With five bag stacking, the thing is that it's so... intricate... that... if you misdrop any piece during it, there is actually no way to go back to doing five bag. So as soon as five bag ends, I have to go back to just slamming Tetris's. Oh, I can't believe I did that. That teaspoon double there. <laughs> nice. <laughs> These ones are very tricky to learn. I was just silly. It took me a long time to get a teaspoon double and took me like two years for my to learn a tr triple teaspoon. I'm still not that I confident with genuinely that. I had no clue how to stack for teaspoons until I started playing Tetris 99. Oh, okay, I like Tetris 99. I don't play it anymore because every single one of my Joy-Cons has succumbed to Joy-Con drift. Oh, no. I'm messing up my But pile. I think 99 is a really good way to, like, learn competitive stacking because it is a competitive game and it uses competitive garbage tables, but you're not always going to be targeted for attacks. Yeah. So you can focus a little more on your board without worrying too much about what other players are doing. Mm. 
Mm, that's not gonna happen. Okay, two. I wish I knew how they came up with like the the seed and and the the brackets for this tournament. I think they had to look at what level everybody was on. If that makes sense. Like in just like on the red clay? actual TEC ranked. Mm. I think so. I'm not sure because it's not really fair if you haven't really played if you haven't, like, if you know how to play the game, but you haven't played enough to rank up, because you're obvious, like, those people are obviously going to be more skillful and beat the bottom rank players. Yeah, so. that's kind of where I am, because for the longest time, I didn't ever really want to play Tetris Effect multiplayer, because it's so hard on my poor little laptop. Mm. <laughs> um... But, like, I've been playing Tetrio and um, sometimes some of the console games. Now I'm, I'm really screwing up. <laughs> I used to play Puyo Puyo Tetris. Oh, yeah, Puyo Puyo Tetris is great. Of course, I'm. I'm not good at the Puyo Puyo trash Puyo garbage at Puyo. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to defend against that. It comes so fast, like so much. You're like, what? Mm -hmm. I kept getting <laughs> really mad when I when I was like actually deep into Puyo Puyo Tetris. I would get mad at people like on Twitter because all of the Puyo players are like, um. Tetris is way too overpowered. This game is not balanced. I'm like, once once you start doing any chain over like 10, there's nothing a Tetris player can do to come back from it. <laughs> don't don't talk to me about the game being unbalanced. Not that I ever actually started twitter beef with anyone because i don't <laughs> i can't handle that <laughs> i know especially this day and age people are like wolves out there i'm only just starting to use twitter again after i took years off of it and even then it's Actually, sounds like a smart idea taking time off of it. It's really I recommend it. Negative. I don't want to be one of the annoying people that's like, Ugh, social media is so bad for your health. You have to log off. But at the same time, when I started focusing on other social media platforms instead of Twitter, I, I was like, wow, I love not seeing quote tweets. <laughs> Oh, no, no. <laughs> 28. Yeah. Um. Yeah, um, yeah. I don't think I have a shot at that. <laughs> I made a new Twitter account <laughs> for my Final Fantasy XIV character. <laughs> Aww. Creative. A lot of the gaming energy that I normally would have put towards Tetris has been going towards Final Fantasy XIV. I've never played any of the Final Fantasies, but I hear such good things about all of them. I hadn't either. Because Final Fantasy XIV is the... MMO one and I had never played an MMO before and I had never played a Final Fantasy game before 
but a lot of my friends play Final Fantasy fourteen, and so <laughs> I was able to hang out with them a lot, and that awesome. made me happy. Because you mind if I do two times? It's not like I can get the points back. I got thirty-seven seconds left to get. <laughs> I do with this piece. <laughs> Nine seconds left. Oh man. I'm eating your dust, that's for sure. Yeah, I just don't get it. Hi Tiger. Hi Zero. Hi Miss Drums. Hi Mountain Dew. <laughs> They're probably all gone now because I was didn't say hi. <laughs> uh what level you wanna go for? <laughs> I'll just do seven again. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right, I'm going to click it in. Three, two, one. Uh, there we go. Uh. Oh, that's my my alarm going off for the the time I thought we were starting. Oh. <laughs> nice. I set my alarm at five o'clock to wake up. Then I five o'clock? And then I didn't even go to sleep. Like I already woke back up. Well it is 7.30 in England, so... What am I doing? You're leading by 100k points. 
You're good. You're Gucci. Coins don't matter. Yes, they do. My stack that matters. Yeah, but your points already got me beat. Points are temporary. <laughs> so I wish. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. You always <laughs> see that, but it's never a big enough oh no to justify it. <laughs> In my brain, if I'm not playing perfectly, I'm not playing at all. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> that's not such torture. <laughs> I can't even play Tetris perfectly. It's one of, one of my absolute favorite things about Tetris as a game is that it's not actually possible to play perfectly. Tetris is a game about mistakes. Unless you're Wombo, then the mistakes just happen. Well, that's the thing. Wombo can still, but on occasion, misdrop, but it's about learning how to take misdrops and, and garbage in stride. About, like, adapting to any mistakes that could happen. It's one of the things that keeps my perfectionism at bay. I think Tetris is good for a life lesson or two. <laughs> I'm that kind of person. Uh oh. Helps with stress, but it also creates its own stress. Three hundred thousand ahead of me now. Okay. Oof. I'm also about to hit level 20. There's no issue for you. Yep. You just play it right on through that. Mm -hmm. Like I said, that's just my... My past with with Grandmaster, those games all go past twenty gravity. The third Tetris, the Grandmaster game, has my favorite name of any video game I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> Which is Tetris, the Grandmaster Three: Poland. Terror Instinct. Terror Instinct? Or Tetris? Tetris! Ooh. Terror Instinct. <laughs> and it's not wrong. It is a horrifying game at top speed. It is borderline impossible to spectate, much less play. Okay, I am breaking. I'm only at speed 15. Sheesh. I will say, and this will be the only concession I make towards actually 
perceiving level differences in score attack. I do have, or at, at least I did when you said that, 10 speed levels on you. Which multiplies the uh, every clear you get. With a lot yes, of it does. Yeah. Sure. I am now in 27, which means that I've tapped. <laughs> Damn it. Oh no, you did great. Unless I try to play faster, I think, to try to get my points up. I can't even get the piece there. Get over there! Oh. I'm having a hard time with those pieces. Oh, time's up. Still about 600,000. Dang. Uh, yeah. No yak attack happening today, you guys. The death of the yak is what's happening. <laughs> so you just won your three games. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> you wanted to Very other... good games, my Thank friend. As well. Get it over with. That is entirely up to you. We <sighs> have... Plenty of time to schedule that. Up to you, I don't care. You're obviously gonna beat me. <laughs> uh. I'm not feeling it right now. You're not honestly. feeling it? Okay. Oh. You too. <sighs> Why am I still sleepy? I have no excuse for this. Alright, so we'll play the other one another time? Yeah. Yeah? Alright, GG's. You're going to post the VOD in the group and the stats and everything? Are you able to do that? Um, <laughs> I haven't done that before. I, I could. Well, I guess you're going to have to learn because you're going to be going right on into the winner circle there. I guess. <laughs> I guess. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You played really well. You're definitely not a beginner. Definitely not. Definitely yeah, not. I've, I've got some years on it on tec uh not on not on tec but <laughs> on score attack specifically because when i started playing seriously i was playing on uh grandmaster so like i started getting serious about tetris in what 2015 2015 2021 now six years yeah goodness how often do you play tetris a week <laughs> <laughs> oh anymore not not nearly as much what did you used um, to play tetris you know oh my maybe goodness maybe an hour or two every day <laughs> oh that's not too bad that's not too bad how are you college. at call of duty <laughs> oh no i have genuinely i've never touched a call of duty game you guys see i need to quit call of duty and just play more tetris this is, this is 
forward to conclusion. <laughs> I cannot. I'm so bad at shooters. I'm so bad. I mean, I'm not good at them either. Just, I just entertain and have fun. <laughs> yeah. I play entirely... I play entirely weird games. If I'm being completely honest, my my game launcher is full of things that I dare say most people have never heard of. Nothing wrong with that. I've been playing 